Hi, flower fans. Get ready to dig along in the dirt with this fall garden activity for some serious, beautiful spring blooms. Ranunculus and anemones are two of our most favorite spring blooms here at the farm. Ranunculus, also known as spring roses, are exceptionally prolific when it comes to stem counts per plant. Anemones offer a beautiful contrast to ranunculus in both shape and form. Both have excellent vase life, making them most sought after cut flowers. Make sure your soil is well prepared. Ranunculus and anemones will perform well and tolerate the wet winter conditions with well-draining nutrient soil. Be sure to prepare your soil appropriately by amending your soil with a broad spectrum nutrient-rich fertilizer like Down to Earth's BioLive and turn in a good layer of earthworm castings. Ranunculus and anemones can overwinter easily provided you have good draining soil. So to provide drainage, you can add perlite or soil draining materials such as lava rock as needed. So how do you plant these little corms? If you've skipped the pre-spreading step, you can go ahead and plant your corms directly into your planting space when as long as the ground temperatures are well above freezing. Our temperatures in zone 9B are relatively mild and our fall temperatures hover in the mid 40s to high 50s. If you've pre-spreaded your corms, gently separate the roots of your corms and plant them into your soil. Both ranunculus and anemones are pretty tough and tolerant to being handled even with young established root structures. Plant your corms about three inches deep and cover over with your soil. It's fine to cover any green sprouts for the pre-spread corms as they will make their way above soil level over the next several weeks. If you have smaller size corms, you can go with closer plant spacing of four to five inches. If you have larger size corms of butterfly ranunculus, plant at six to 12 inches of spacing. What to expect? Short stems, what is going on? Usually the first round of ranunculus and anemones are short stemmed. Simply harvest them and enjoy them, but do not fret and be patient. As temperatures start to warm in late February and March, your flush of ranunculus and anemones will stretch and should be rewarded with beautiful bounty. So who's ready to bring some breathtaking blooms to their garden this spring? Charmaine here, signing off from Turbo Farms. If you found this video valuable, show some love with thumbs up and subscribe for more micro flower farming tips. See you in the next video, flower fans, flowers or bust.